Eric Moa with Moadet.com. It is July 1st, 2015. Let's take a look at the markets here. I have an idea for you. And it's in an area where you might not be expecting. But we see here market coming off the highs for the day. I'll probably have a second video later on today once the charts are slightly more developed. But for, for now, just want to show you what's going on here in terms of crude oil. I think there's an opportunity here for a risk trade. We are seeing right now crude oil is down about 2.7%, trading at 57.8283, somewhere in that range. Now, I want to show you what I'm looking at here and why I think this is an opportunity. First and foremost, let's go to the crude oil itself. So give me a second here. And crude oil, we've been talking about the long-term monthly view, and this is based on yesterday's close. The problem here is this line here, which connected the recent lows, this double bottom going back to 94, and here 98, and then here in 08, 09. And what I've been talking about is this line has become back test failure area. We see that crude oil has struggled to hold above that. Okay, so that's pretty obvious. Now, if we take a look at the USO, which has a live monthly chart, so the US source go back to three year monthly. And for now, the risk here is it is getting ever close to trading below 30.9. If it does crack back below that level, I suggest this is the best time to at least have some representation on the short side for crude oil. Because anything below 30.90 suggests that momentum has really changed to the downside again. The last time we clipped below 69.10 was here which was about end of 2014 for a huge drop. So I think there's a there's a trade here. The key is if the monthly for the for the USO cracks back below 30.90. And the idea I have for you is going long SEO. And if you take a look at the monthly chart for the SEO trade, you can see it is holding well above the 50. So remember, we had gone long SEO here in the early, in the lower 30s. So we had gone long here for a nice trade earlier, I mean, sometime late last year. And now I think it's coming back to where it's showing some level of support on the monthly. If you take a look at the weekly, there's also a technical reason that could be used for why it could move higher. It is this entry point here. The entry point began the move off the lows here in the mid, um, in the higher 20s. And so we can draw a line from there. We can see that it's been holding exactly on this line over the last couple of weeks, if not months. All right, so that's one reason. Now, if we take a look at the daily, we see an opportunity here. And what I'm gonna do here is use this recent daily closing high. It's just an arbitrary number. And that is at 59.26 so this daily closing here and that is at 59.26 so I say you can hold on to this instrument as a way to short crude oil as long as it is above 59.56 or let's even put it this way as long as you are not down more than five percent so it's a risk trade you're playing the possibility that crude oil goes lower and of course you want to have a stop at some point if this is correct then it suggests that we should be seeing this move higher probably at some point maybe to test initially test this recent break at about $80 that would be my initial price target anyway so that's how it looks like if this is gonna work out then it needs to be above and hold above 59.26 we also need to see that the USO move back below 30.90 Eric Moade, I'll keep you posted for the rest of the day. Otherwise, uh, let's watch how markets trade. Good luck, peace, and blessings. Woo! Yeah.